Hey guys, welcome to A Little Magic Every Day, and today we're going to be talking about um, dressing and makeup for confidence. And I don't care if you're a boy, a girl, a man, a woman, whatever. You can wear makeup. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Alright, so the first thing about dressing with confidence is to know your body type and to find what looks good for your body type. Now I have um, a plus size apple body type and so I uh, have been doing some research and it's really easy to do. Just put in, you know, you can even like take quiz to or look at pictures to find out your body type. And so you find your body type, you find what looks good for it, and then you dress for it. And another thing is I really want to play with my hair. It doesn't look good when I do it, but I really want to play with it. Okay. All right. So another thing is makeup. Now, if you're new to makeup or you don't necessarily know a lot about makeup, uh, there are websites that can help you with your colors, websites that can help you with what make, um, how to apply it, what looks best, and so, you know, just get on there and search because you want to find something that looks really good on you and makes you feel good about yourself when you wear it. So I'm going to put on my makeup right now and then I'm going to talk about my outfit. Alright, so I have on some copper colored, uh, got a little on my cheeks, oops, copper colored, um, eyeshadow because I think that it really makes my brown eyes pop. And I'm going to give you another tip for dressing with confidence and that is to um, embrace your favorite feature. I really like my eyes. I uh, really like, I think my hands look pretty. My fingernails, not so much, but I have a really hard time with my fingernails. And I also like my legs. They're really strong. And so, you know, I've got on a skirt that shows a little bit of leg. I'm not going to show you my legs because I don't want to like have to get up on a chair. <laughs> anyway, um, so now I'm gonna put on some more makeup. Hold on. Now I've got some dark brown in the um, crease and out to the side a little bit. I'm by no means professional makeup artist, and I just know what looks good on me. So. You know, if you're like, oh, why would you do something like that? Just hold it. I don't want to hear it. Um, but anyway, the next tip I have is to know what colors work best on you. And you can do this by um, going to websites that help you pick out your colors. And you can also ask your friends or you know, experiment with color, wear something one day, and if you get a lot of compliments, go, hmm, I need to try that color again. All right, be right back. All right, so I finished my eyes. I don't have any mascara because I am out, but um, I've got a little champagne colored eyeshadow up here. I've got a dark brown um, eyeliner, and now this is more of like an evening look, so it's a little bolder. Can't really tell because those lights are really intense. But um, one thing about makeup is you want to kind of pick, you know, if you're going bold with the eyes, you want to go light on the lipstick and always go light on the cheeks. You don't need, like, this isn't the 80s anymore. Don't, don't go with crazy blush. All right, so my next tip is think about a time when you felt good in an outfit. So if you can think of a time when you felt good in an outfit and 
you know, everything's like, what was going on during that time? What made me feel good about that outfit? Try to recreate that. I mean, it doesn't have to be the exact same outfit or anything, but you know, that's how you want to feel every day, right? All right, be right back. I got a very neutral color. I do have some rosacea, so um, I have some concealer on that, but it I can't find anything that works real good because it's pretty bad, but um, neutral with brown tones on my cheeks does kind of minim minimalize the amount of redness that you see on my face, so, I, and I do got a little bit of contour, a little bit of highlight, so, you know, All right, my next tip is, I'm getting makeup all over my dress. Define your style. Okay, we kind of talked about this the other day. You don't want others to define your style, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know how I feel about defining your style. I mean, if you want a specific look, yes. I guess my style would be comfort over anything else. I like comfortable clothes. This dress is super comfortable. It's, um, it's got a little stretch to it. It's black. It's very slimming. And, um, I don't have a butt. Anyway, you know, it's got a higher waistline. So you, that it looks like it got a little shape, even though mostly it's just round. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, if you have a specific style, you should really go with that. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm 40 years old and I don't have a style. Should I be worried? I don't know. We'll see. Right, so now I have added a rose lipstick kind of defines my mouth because I don't have a lot of color in my lips anyway the next thing is consider the occasion like I said this is more of a nighttime or evening look so you want a bolder eye or a bolder lip you want something that's gonna stand out during the daytime I could still make this work, but I might go, you know, a little lighter uh, in tones or move the champagne to the lid and um, just have that color or something. But, you know, daytime look is kind of fresh and airy. Nighttime looks a little more bold. Um, wedding looks as long as it's you know somebody's wedding you're going to a little more subdued you don't want to outshine the bride um you know and if you don't know you know you can go to pinterest and look at i love pinterest for makeup ideas and everything because you know they have everything and it's visual and i just i love pinterest so all right um now it's time to add to this outfit. All right, y'all are gonna have to excuse my hair. It's growing out. I had cut it really short and it's growing out and it looks terrible. All right, so the first thing I added is a little bit of bling. So I love this. Let's see if you can see it. That is the Tree of Life and it has um, chakra related crystals on it. Okay, so it just kind of gives a little, hmm, little something. Yeah. Okay. So know your comfort limits. I used to be really bad about this one. I absolutely love really high heels, but they do not love me. I have very weak ankles, and one time. I had gotten all dressed up for Easter. I had on this beautiful 
blue outfit and I had on um, all of my finery. I was going to go to church with my family and I had on these three inch heels and I went outside because we always take Easter pictures. I went outside to take the picture and twisted my ankle and did not make it to church because it was so swollen and so painful and so you know I now know I cannot wear three inch heels no matter how, uh, how awesome they look and how great they make my legs look I need to wear flats because my ankles will not support me and they never have <laughs> so you know also if you know that you're going to be squirming 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 if you get put into something that's really itchy or really bunchy or makes a lot of noise and you can't stand uh, to hear the noise like when I was a kid in the 70s and early 80s um, what's it called corduroy was super popular my mom would put me in it and I would walk with my legs out and just like oh because I hated that sound that it made it was so loud and so I would I just absolutely hated wearing it so I would never wear corduroy no matter how big it got again or whatever I just no okay so finishing touches right all right hold up all right guys this is it I've got on a little sparkly I don't know if you can see the sparkles but it's a little sparkly uh, long sweater and uh, it is like a high low and just got a little gold in it to go with my necklace and um, I have a few more tips for you and the first one is invest a little more into a special piece you'll have for years and will always make you feel com confident when you wear it so this dress is very basic and I really like the way it looks and I can um, really dress it up in any number of ways so I can get you know it did cost a little more but uh, I can put a sweater over it or different accessories with it you know it's just a really nice piece to have and then add to um, the next one is to rock a power suit now, I've never had a power suit but maybe I should get one maybe I should get a power suit and rock it for you guys what do you think <laughs> All right, and the next one is know your audience. So, you know, if you are going somewhere where like there's a lot of really, you know, you're going, maybe you've got some big thing and you're gonna go before a bunch of people who are really stodgy and prim and proper and everything, you wouldn't wanna wear something that's like cut down to here and especially if you're trying to influence them. So, yeah, it's a confidence look, and uh, I'll show you a great tip that I have, and that is um, print out some of these. All right, you can find them that kind of match your body type. This one was an apple lady, and so I drew my outfit on her. So now I can put this in my book of shadows and know, hey, what was that look that I did for confidence? Oh yeah, that's an awesome look. I'm gonna go put that on. And another thing is print out some of these. Okay, so these are uh, makeup face templates and you can find them in a variety you can find a male female um, this nice white lady uh, 
African American, all kinds of different looks. I like this one because it's got the one eye closed so I can do a closer study of my eye makeup and then it also has like these little boxes beside it so I can write down what colors of makeup that I used. So I put those in my book of shadows and all right so I guess that's pretty much it for today look at what we're doing tomorrow and I'm gonna put a whole bunch of resources down in the bottom so that if you need help figuring out what it is that you need you can get that help okay so oh tomorrow we're doing a confidence challenge all right so I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, if you like the video hit a like uh, tell me tell me about your style do you have a style I'd like to know about your style. Should I have a style? Answer in the comments down below. <laughs> Alright, um, always, always, always much love to you guys. Subscribe, hit the notification so you know that when I put out, I, I put them out almost every day. Every now and then I don't, but I try. And I'll uh, bless it be guys. Bye!